everyone. I made myself a Patty Mel video, which was for my own archive, so I would remember on how I made it. Some people found out and asked me to post it. Since it was 45 minutes, I went ahead and made this version, which is much shorter. It was hot last week when I made it, and I wasn't planning on even sharing this, so please bear with me in this, but I tried to shorten this one down, and again, this was for my records because a lot of times I forget what I make. So enjoy, and I shorten this one down because I know a lot of people aren't going to want to hear me just jibber jabber in the kitchen for 45 minutes as I make my patty melts using my panini maker. Enjoy! Thanks! I hope this short version is short enough. store. Usually gluten-free flour could be like four or five dollars. I threw them in the freezer. I have a big freezer. Okay. I still do. Need this one. I'm going to chop up a zucchini. I'm going to put it in my blender. A zucchini. And because it's a fresh one, I don't need to peel it. zucchini and putting it in my blender. zucchini, but I'm going to do it differently than I tried it the other day. I didn't measure anything, and I threw everything together, and I had to add so much flour afterwards. You know what? I can't use the rest of the zucchini, so I'll move this over here. I put it on a plastic thing upside down so I can use it whenever. All right. So now, what am I doing? I've got the zucchini in here. Before I do that, all right, about a teaspoon of baking powder into my flour. Can you see my flour? Of course not. So I've got about a cup and a half of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, dash of sugar, kind of too much, but oh well. You always put sugar in just because it tastes it make brings out the taste but if you don't want it you don't have to and of course and that was too much salt <laughs> you want to add in black pepper you can add in a little black pepper okay okay now here comes the fun part Going to, I'm going to save that for tomorrow too. I'm going to add in milk. I think you can. Save the container. First, you put water in here and then you can water your plants. I filled this up so if there's a little bit of milk left, they get some calcium. Put that down there right now. All right, now we got milk in there. And I'm going to put. 
butter in. Oh, that might be too much. Right, and a little bit of butter, just a little bit. Maybe a teaspoon of butter, a tablespoon of butter, I should say. All right, so we got butter and milk. Now we're going to blend it. Okay, and I've got a zucchini in here with a little bit of milk and butter. So it's kind of like a thick mold. I'm going to put it in there. Okay, so now we've got the bowl. And now I'm, in, I'm not going to over pour it. What I'm going to do is pour, put it in just a little at a time. What I'm trying to do is come up with a dough that I can form into a ball. And when I made it the very first time, which was two days ago, see I did it again, it's still too sticky. I had to keep adding and adding in more flour. This is actually very close to what I want. You'll probably just see it in there. I may add in a little more flour. I have too much of that, but I can use that for anything. That is the way I make my zucchini bread, blending it up. And it's so good. I'm not making that now because I am not going to turn on the oven. Let me move the onion. I'm not, I'll just leave the onion there. Then I'm not using with all the other stuff in the garden. You see, I need very little flour. Oh, that's perfect. All right, now we will save the zucchini, the rest of the zucchini. I can make it tomorrow and just put that in the fridge. Now I will heat up the panini maker. All right, I need my oil brush. I need a plate. Gary cooked some beans and that's hot, so I have no place else to put it. Okay, put that there. Get some olive oil, that's heating up. Now, what I'm hoping to make is something like a patty melt, but gluten-free, because we're not using bread. And I'm going to cut up some chicken. You won't be able to see me. We don't eat a lot of meat, but we do eat a little bit of chicken here and there. Yep, you can't see me. I'm just slicing up the chicken into thin slices. Okay, so i got chicken sliced up. I need to heat this up. I need some oil. I've got onions. I've made my bread, which I'm using a lot of zucchini, no eggs. To use eggs, it'll get too hard. So by using zucchini instead, the bread the other day, when I, I've done it before, those rolls I make, it's so soft. All right. I don't even know how much you can really see. This is the panini maker. All right, let's make sure my hands are nice and clean. Um, all right, so I'm taking my panini maker. This is not designed for this. I know that. So I've made like a flat thing. What I'm making is like a flatbread. That's already covered in oil. I could add a little more oil to this. Okay, okay that's one. turns out what I could do is make a video like I did on the eggplant that's like five minutes everything really quick now a teeny bit of mayonnaise in the center look at that just a little bit kind of will hold everything in place all right now we're going to build this I'm going to put some chicken in here Okay, so we got chicken in there. Now we're going to put a little bit of onions on top. Oh, Gary's going to say, you didn't go pick bell peppers? He's always trying to get rid of the bell peppers. He's trying to not burn or something. I wonder if I've got some. Yes, I do. This is from Gary's garden. I know you can't see me because I moved the camera. Cutting up a little bell pepper that he is growing in his 
dishwashers. I'm just I, since it's a teeny bell pepper, I'm gonna put one piece in each one, and then some cheese. I like a lot of cheese, but I'm afraid it's gonna squish out everywhere. Okay. Anyways, all right now. I'm going to roll the dough in the flour. So now I can make it into a nice round patty. See, and what I like is it's got vegetables. If you're making this for kids, you're getting vegetables in it, in them, and they don't even know it. And you lay one on top. See? Like I said, I'll, I'll have to do a close-up and do a better one. But this is why people say, why don't you put up a lot of recipes? I don't put up a lot of recipes because I never know what I'm going to make. And like I said, that's the bad part is I'll make something and Gary absolutely loves it and I don't have the recipe. Okay, now I'm going to brush the top with oil. Panini makers are made to use bread. So bread is supposed to be pre-cooked, but I couldn't see why it wouldn't work. I can't give an exact recipe on this, but once I get it, I can put it up. It's about one and a half cups of flour, maybe two cups of flour, and then I make this mix, which is nothing more than zucchini, a little milk. I even put a little butter in there, so it blends up really good, so you have butter flavor. Nothing else. I put the salt, the pepper, a little bit of tiny dash of sugar and salt, uh, let's see, I said that, salt, pepper, sugar, and baking powder into the flour, mix that up, and then I poured the zucchini mix until I can get a consistency where I can roll it into balls. If it's too sticky, just drop it in the flour and work it that way. So I don't have to worry if it's too sticky. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful, and I know they're going to taste good. Look at that. It lifts right. It's going to lift right off, and I'll probably burn myself. Look at that. I don't want to use metal on here because I don't want to ruin my panini maker. But this was like so cool. They're hot. Look at this. Now we have a patty melt. Okay, so what do you think of the sandwich? It's good. Did you dip it in mayonnaise? No, actually, I put mayonnaise on top of it. That's what I meant. I, that's what I did. You copied me. Okay. Tell everybody. Don't forget to eat what you grow. And cook. And cook. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.